Hello everybody, uh, today is Sunday, June 28th, 2020, and I thought because it is Sunday that maybe we could talk about the Ten Commandments, favorite movie ever, love this movie, and there's so many reasons why I love this film, uh, which is really the second edition, directed by the great Cecil B. DeMille and starring the awesome, terrific Charlton Heston as Moses the Lawgiver. Okay, why do I love this movie so much? I mean, why do I love it so much? The dialogue, okay? Dialogue, the best dialogue ever. Now, it's contrived at times. I don't know if that's the right word. It's um, it's a little campy at times. It's not really realistic as far as how people talk in general, and certainly you know not during that day. I mean, not that I was there, but it's not as uh, flowing. But what they do say and how they say it surrounded by the beautiful sets uh, um, showcased with this incredible uh, cinematography and the colors and the message of, you know, of just love. Because that's what every, come on, man, that's what every religious epic is about. Whether you're Catholic, Christian, Jewish, Vulcan, whatever you are, everybody loves a love story. And that's what the Ten Commandments is. My favorite scene, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you my favorite scene in a minute because I told my favorite scene to Charlton Heston's son who was at a special screening of uh, the Ten Commandments at the Egyptian Theater a few years ago for a special restoration that was showcased on that beautiful screen there in the Egyptian theater in Hollywood. Um, there I was sitting with, you know, not with, but in the same theater with Charlton Heston's son, uh, who was in the film, by the way, he's the baby Moses. When um, he's found in the beginning or when he's, he's uh, pushed into the, the, uh, the Egyptian Royal, pool area. Um, my favorite scene in the movie, and I told Charlton Heston's son this, okay? At the end of the movie, at the end of the screening of the, at the Egyptian theater, I'm like, okay, am I going to get to talk with Charlton Heston's son? Okay. Can I, you know, can I do this? Well, it was easy peasy. Okay. Everybody was leaving. I waited. I mean, I went with a couple of people and I says, you know, hold on a minute. There's Carrollton Hudson's son. <laughs> I want to go talk to him. So this is all happening like in the back of the, the theater at his, his limousine. His mom was waiting in the limousine and he was just about to get in it. And I said, Mr. Heston, I said, I just want you to know that the Ten Commandments is my favorite movie ever across the board number one and i said may i share with you my favorite scene from the movie he said of course i says well you know like after moses is um kicked out of egypt and he he's about to meet yvonne de carlo <laughs> and her all of her sisters in that um, place between Egypt and wherever. He goes, yeah. I said, and he defends them because some evil guys are trying to take, attack them or whatever. He goes, yeah. I said, that moment, he's not the king of Egypt and he's not the deliverer, you know? He's just a guy. He's just a guy. 
you know, defending these women who are in trouble. And I didn't tell Charlton Heston's son this at that moment, but that also was a moment in my head when I first saw the film on TV, when it was two parts on the ABC Sunday night movie and then the ABC Monday night movie. And I was so, I was so happy that, you know, I didn't have school the next day because in those days everybody got off for Easter and, you know, Passover or whatever. And, uh, you know, you get that, those butterflies in your stomach when there's no school tomorrow or the next day. And you get to stay up as late as you want, even though I really stayed up as long as I wanted, no matter what, and watched what I want to watch because I was spoiled that way. It just happened to be that, you know, scene that I remember. So I shared that all with him and he was touched, you know, and uh, he was just the nicest guy in the world. And it was so nice to see that. So please embrace the Ten Commandments. Yeah, and if you want to embrace the Ten Commandments too, I think it would be all right. I mean, the real Ten Commandments, it's not a bad thing. I think if, the, if everybody kind of did, we'd have less issues, but I'm not brave, Jed. I'm just talking about the movie right now, okay? An amazing film, my favorite ever. Hope you enjoyed my thoughts on it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it again and subscribe if you haven't already to the Herbie J. Pilato channel. Thank you, everyone. Be good, smile, joyfully, always, always, okay? And everything will be fine as long as we hang on to love, okay? All right, peace.